exclusive guest, Arizona Congressman Trent Franks, for an interview tonight. Congressman Franks, thank you very much uh, for being here. I know that uh, you received some information that is very troubling uh, this evening. Can you please share with us what you know? Well, Martha, I don't, I don't want to disappoint anyone. I'm not able to, to confirm the reports that you're talking about, specifically because there's an ongoing investigation. I, I, I know you understand that. But uh, there are certainly many indications now that uh, the shooter uh, was premeditated in his actions. And uh, I think that points to a very, very troubling circumstance in our country. And I think, in a sense, uh, you hit on it just a moment ago. You know, you said that this country once fought a civil war where we shot each other to doll rags on the, on the Civil War battlefield. And ironically, uh, uh, part of that problem was that we couldn't really speak to the big issues as we should in a political environment. We, we let uh, uh, decency toward each other devolve into de invective, and then invective devolved into uh, to violence. And the, the bottom line is, we are going to have to stop in this country trying to figure out who's right and try to discover together what is right. And we're going to have to be able to speak to the great issues that divide us using a principal persuasion rather than just uh, scream at each other. And I, I know a lot of people have articulated that better than I can. Uh, but let me just suggest to you that uh, uh, this is a, a different country in that we solve our problems uh, by ballots instead of bullets. And it's important for two groups of people in this country uh, to really understand uh, what we have to do together. One, we all have to articulate the great principles that made us the nation that we are, and we have to do so in, in a loving, principle persuasion kind of approach. And then secondly, we all have to be more susceptible to a principled argument. Truth has to be re-invited to the discussion. Because otherwise, uh, uh, then when, when truth is just dismissed out of hand, then when Understood. these great issues face us, it leaves us with no option. Well, Congressman Franks, uh, there are a lot of stories floating around out there. Can you confirm yes, or deny that you have been contacted, that your name was on that list, sir? Well, well Martha, I can, but I, but I won't, uh, because I feel like that it's important. You know, the Capitol Police have shown themselves to be noble beyond words. I know it's an easy moment to try to express gratitude to people like them, but they, they put themselves at profound risk for all of us. They, in a sense, uh, lay down their lives for, for their friends, which is a, the biblical ad admonition that reaches the very pinnacle of what it's all about. And so the last thing I'd ever want to do would be to complicate anything that they're already doing. Uh, so are you but, saying that uh, they are I, in the middle of an ongoing investigation? Have you been notified by anybody that that, that would include you? Uh, I have been notified that there is an investigation and that, uh, um, yes, that I, that I might be involved in that investigation. But, uh, you know, I, I certainly uh, can't go any further than that. Understood. In terms of the measures that will be taken, because the... the this picture that we saw on the baseball field the other day was horrific. And everyone yes, prays yeah. for Steve Scalise and the others who were injured. And you yeah. so rightly point out the valiant behavior of the Capitol Hill police uh, who were involved in that. And we saw one of them out on the baseball diamond last night throughout that first pitch. was was just a really stirring and very moving moment for everybody. Um, but in, in terms of how things change now, if there are others who were on his list, and I'm sure they are investigating whether or not, and there's no indication at this point that he was involved with anyone else, but is, you know, are they investigating whether or not his circle went wider than just himself, Mr. Hodgkinson? Well, uh, I mean, I think that they are trying to investigate every possible element. It seems, uh, seems pretty clear that he acted alone. I think that's the case, but I, I certainly don't want to prejudice any, any uh, investigation. But I do want to say, and I, I don't want to, to take advantage of the moment, but I want to say something about Steve Scalise. I know everybody is praying for him, and I want to make sure he knows my name is on that list. But there's something greater here that we need to, to, to point out. Steve has always been a very loving, decent human being to all the people in Congress. He's never been arrogant in his leadership role. And because of that, he was out playing baseball with the rank and file. And his, his security team was there. So in a sense, 
Steve Scalise took a bullet for uh, a number of his colleagues. And uh, if he hadn't been there, neither would the, the police have been there, neither would the Capitol Police have been. And it's very, very likely that several members of Congress would You're have so been right. killed. You're so right. His presence So I salute um, him with my, changed, my heart. Absolutely. And his presence changed the dynamic there. And it did yes, save uh, all of those people's lives. Has your security changed in the past several hours? Do you have any additional, you know, it, it, are there measures that you need to take now, sir? Well, uh, we, we have taken significant measures prior to this already, uh, and especially in our home district. The Capitol Police have been so effective that we have uh, relied upon them primarily in D.C. Uh, and uh, but there has been a sharpened awareness, as you might imagine. But fortunately, we've been very for very blessed to have good people on our staff that are trained in that regard. And so I'm I'm thankful. You know, but it does remind you, no matter who you are, uh, that we are all. Uh, not promised tomorrow and we should be very thankful for each day that we have and uh, as a father you know coming up on father's day to two eight-year-old twins uh, i am extremely grateful for every day that i have with them and i hope that all of us uh, as americans will begin to to recognize what a gift it is to be alive and to be in the united states of america and to somehow make sure that this flagship of freedom for the whole human family uh, remains vibrant, and to do that, yeah. we need to get together and consider those ideals well, that the that, founding uh, fathers had. That we are all children of God. From yeah, from your mouth to God's ears and everybody else's, I guess. Uh, Congressman right. Trent Franks, uh, thank you, sir, and we hope that you and all your colleagues and all the staffers and everyone who works with you uh, continue to stay safe. Thank you, sir. Good to speak to you thank tonight. Thank you, Martha. Thank you.